Hey guys and welcome to this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me, a very minimalistic one because I still have my eye irritation. My eyes are a little bit better but if you have been following me on Instagram or if you have watched my previous videos you know that I'm experiencing an eye irritation. So today we're going to play with some new makeup and also I'm going to talk about the new Tom Ford blushes and specifically I'm going to show you number 01 Brazen Rose which I think is the blush that most most people are interested in, specifically people who have similar skin tone like mine, because this one looks very, very beautiful on me. And I'm going to compare this blush to a couple of other blushes that are very similar. Still, they are on the pricey side, but I just wanted to show you some swatches in natural light so that you can kind of decide whether it's worth splurging on this blush because it's 90 US dollars. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. And if you're new here, a very special welcome. I'm so happy that you clicked on my video and you decided to spend some time with me. And please consider subscribing if you love luxury beauty. I always do my best to show you the latest luxury beauty releases. So let's get into this video. Now, first of all, I'm going to take my hair back um, so that... Okay, so I'm getting you... I'm getting you closer so that you can see what's happening on my face today. And I actually am not going to do um, full face makeup. I'm not going to be applying makeup on my face, on my eyes, only on my face. So I have my skincare and it's very, very minimalistic. I'm going to be using the Givenchy foundation. And this is the new one, the newest one, which is Prisma Libre Skin Caring Glow. And this one is in number 2N120. And right now it matches my skin tone very well. I'm a little bit darker than my usual skin color. And I have been using this foundation um, lately. I mean, I l rarely use actually foundation if I'm not filming, but um, sometimes just here and there. So I'm going to do a thin layer all over my face. And I wanted to say a huge and very, very special thank you to all of you guys. You have been so supportive and um, a lot of you messaged me with different suggestions about my eye, about eye drops, eye creams. We've tried everything um, basically and the love of my life is actually writing down everything and we, we bought everything literally um, that you have been suggesting. I feel much better right now compared to last week but still I want to keep my eyes without makeup. Still I want to be makeup free on my eyes and have been mainly using some makeup on my face because I still want my eye to fully recover. And I think this is just because I have very sensitive eyes as well as skin, but with skin, I know how to manage my skin. I just, it's easy for me because I have been reading about skin for years and I always know how to tackle irritation and how to get rid of any irritation on my skin. I just am in control with my skin, but when it comes to eyes, it's a mess. And right now I'm only having irritation on this eye. This eye is completely healed, so yes, um, I'm so happy about that. Okay, now we have my face done and what I have been using, now I cannot use my proper skincare routine just because I don't have the patience, because when I don't feel um, completely fine, when there's something wrong with my eyes, I just feel so irritated. You get me, I hope. Um, I really feel so irritated and so nervous and so grumpy when something is wrong because it messes up with my whole routine, it messes up with my workouts. And everything since I'm not using um, I'm using very minimal skincare um, I tend to have some darkness that is quite unpleasant so I'm just going to get rid of this darkness with the Charlotte Tilbury concealer I'm wearing this in number one fair and you can see that it's a peachy color but it cancels the redness the darkness under my eyes so well so if you're like me I think you're going to enjoy this one especially if you suffer from severe dark circles. And I'm only going to be applying it right here in this part. I'm avoiding this part because here I'm in my, I'm in my mid thirties and when I don't um, have a proper skincare routine, I have some lines that are more pronounced here. And if I apply concealer, they become more visible. So that's why I'm avoiding this part. So always customize the look to suit your own face. Now, it is absolutely amazing how many friends I have 
here guys among you and I was really really impressed with so many messages that I received from you and I just wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart because we have created such an amazing beauty family here because I know so many of you by now um, and we are slowly growing our family. I'm using a favorite powder, really love this one. I showed it in my favorites video. This is the Chanel uh, Loose Powder, which I used not to like and now I, I decided that I like it. I had a change of heart. I don't know why I didn't like it in the first place, but it's brilliant, it's so good. Maybe it does have a little bit more coverage, just a fraction more coverage than the previous one, but it's so good. I can't wait for my eyes to get better and to film videos for you guys because I have so many videos to film. It's not that I can film videos right now. I can, I can apply makeup, but I still want to fully recover and unless it's completely necessary, unless it's a very important video, I just want to not apply anything on my eyes or close to my eyes or on my eyelids. So quickly filling my eyebrows with my favorite Dior eyebrow pencil. This is the only one that I use and it's so old. I think that they changed the packaging now. So all of the products that I used are going to be in the description box and a huge thank you guys for using my affiliate links. This helps so much because it's really really hard when you're based in Europe and your support means so much to me. Okay, and brows are done. I just want to apply a little bit of lipstick and I'm going to be using the Shantikai uh, lipstick. This was, was it a summer collection? It was a summer collection actually. And I just like this bright, you're going to see orangey color because it's gonna add some sunshine into my day because the weather is horrible today. It's not good, I don't like it. And Okay, so let me know what you think in the comment section below. Now, I'm usually not a person who is going to wear an orangey lipstick, but this one is, um, it has a little bit of a reddish slash orangey vibe. It's definitely an orange color, but it's not as scary as the Hermes lipstick that I showed you a few videos ago. If you haven't watched my video, I went out of my comfort zone with the one of the most iconic orange Hermes lipsticks, and I'm going to have a link to the video here or here um, so that you can watch it. Let me know what you think of this sunny color. Now moving on to those blushes and the blushes that I'm going to show you are actually Brazen Rose by Tom Ford and this is from the new Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate blushes. Now this one's retail for 90 US dollars which is an insane price. I don't know if you've noticed but all of the brands, all of the luxury brands started to increase their prices. First of all we started to see an increase of the handbags of Chanel and Hermes um, then we started to see an increase, a significant increase in the fashion and we are seeing this increase coming also in the luxury makeup. I knew that this was going to happen. I mean, when I saw the handbags increasing, the increase of the prices of the handbags, I knew that an increase was coming also on luxury makeup. And now we see a lot of products are just being re-released with new prices and we see higher prices on a lot of makeup products, which is very unfortunate. But I hope that I can provide you unbiased makeup reviews and please go ahead and subscribe, support my channel because I'm always going to try and do my best to show you some of the latest um, luxury beauty releases, well as many as I can buy of course and I'm always going to do my best to show you everything in natural light. Now often I don't comment on the prices in my videos and probably that's a downside. Let me know if you want me to comment in the future on the prices as well. But I think that you can all see the prices that in different countries, for example, prices can be different. For example, with Shantikai um, in Europe, we are, we are paying a lot more for Shantikai products than you are paying in the US, even though Shantikai makeup is made in Italy. For example, for the little mono eyeshadows from the full makeup collection in Europe, they're like 20% more. Uh, expensive than they are in the US and this is quite frustrating and since we are an international community it depends very much where you are based. Now most of you are in the US and that's why most of the time when I'm commenting on prices I comment in US dollars because most of you guys we have a, a great US family here which is amazing and that's why most of the time I just um, talk about US dollars. 
So the increase of the prices is a fact. It's a very unfortunate one, but always make sure to think what is your budget. Make sure to think how your family is coping with the whole situation that we have around the world because a lot of families have suffered. So be wise. We're talking today about the Tom Ford um, Shade and Illuminate blush and I have three other blushes that have a similar effect on my skin. Now, um, I'm going to swatch also next to it and I'm going to be inserting now videos um, of the blushes so that you can see them in natural light so that you can have a better idea how they look uh, in person. The other blush that I have that has a similar effect to Brazen Rose is actually the Hermes blush, one of my favorite blushes, and this is number 28 Rose Plume. The other blush that has a similar effect on my cheeks is the Chantecaille Butterfly Bliss blush and I think that this are all the same price range and then the other blush that has a similar effect to my um, on my cheeks is the house of siash blush in pink bow and this comes in a palette which comes in a, with a highlighter and a blush so these are all have similar effects on my cheeks and i'm going to show you now now you can see now swatches which i'm going to insert uh, you can see swatches of all colors and keep in mind that all these blushes are powdery they are completely matte they feel a little bit powdery on the skin they blend like a dream and these are some of my favorite blushes some of the blushes that match my skin tone perfectly now i'm quickly going to insert a breakdown of all of these blushes the price and the amount of product that you are getting so that you know what is the value of the product actually they are similar prices and the one that is going to be the best the most um, i mean generous in terms of quantity of the product versus the price of the product is going to be the disney blush because here you're getting 15 grams of product it is amazing this one is made in italy i think that most of them are made in italy let's go ahead and see shantika is made in italy and tom ford is made in italy hermes is made in italy and also the house of siash is made in italy probably they're made in the same factory so more or less you're getting really really good high quality products here okay so now that we have the price and we have also the quantity of the product let's go ahead and swatch them on my cheeks okay so i'm going to be starting with tom ford and i'm going to apply it here and i'm going to keep this cheek actually with the tom ford blush and then on this cheek we are going to apply all of the other blushes um, so that we can see how it applies so immediately after picking the blush you can see i pick a lot of blush and as i told you it's very powdery this one but all of them are powdery because they are matte blushes and they have um the same i'm closing my eyes so that i don't get any powder into my eyes sorry guys that i'm behaving so weird but i really want to get so much better really want to be back to normal okay guys so this is how it looks and i i did apply a little bit um too much i mean I wouldn't normally apply that much, but I just want you to be able to see better the color. So my camera stopped recording for a while and that's why I just want to tell you what I did. So basically here I have Brazen Rose by Tom Ford and here I applied the Chantecaille Butterfly Bliss. And what I was saying is actually that the Chantecaille blush looks on my cheeks, applied on my cheeks. It looks exactly the same as the Brazen Rose from Tom Ford. You can see that there is no difference whatsoever. So they are literally like dupes. So if you don't want to pay the 90 US dollars, this one is the same price because it's only 2.5 grams of product and the Tom Ford is 6.5 grams of product. But if you are in a moment when you want to have this blush, this kind of blush, but you don't want to pay 90 US dollars and you just want to have a smaller quantity blush, you can go for this one. So in terms of, you know, price, they are the same. In terms of quality, the way they wear, they wear exactly the same on my skin. Um, they, these are two of my favorite blushes. Okay, so now starting with a clean canvas once again on this side. This side is still Brazen Rose from Tom Ford 01. And now let's go ahead and try this um, 28 from Hermes and this is Rose Plume. I'm going to be using a new brush now at this time. And with Hermes on my skin they are much more pigmented so I only need like a couple of swipes to get the color 
Okay, so take a look at that. And they are absolutely the same. Probably here I applied a little bit less of the Hermes blush. Let's actually apply a little bit more so that we can like really have almost like a dupe. But I'm looking at myself right now. Um, I have a window right here and I'm looking at myself close up in the mirror and I can tell that they are, they have the same effect. Now here we have a slight difference only. The Hermes blush, as I start building it up, it looks a little bit more pinkish, whereas this one looks a little bit more like, not as pink as this one. This one is pink, this one is pink, but this one, the Hermes blush is, is a little bit more pink than this one. But this is only when I look at myself in the mirror and let me actually face my window. It looks the same actually. Now there is just a little bit of a difference and that's why I decided to put the cur curtain here so that um, it can somehow create a shadow on my face and you can probably see better what's happening. More or less, it's the same, guys. Okay, now moving on to, I'm gonna clean my face once again, this side, and then we're going to try the House of Siage blush. Okay, so once again, clean face, and now I'm going to try the House of Siage blush, and this one is in pink bow. Again, this is a completely matte blush. This is with the House of Siash blush. And you can see that, again, they are quite similar. Now, not exactly the same. They are not like dupes. They are not exactly the same. This one is definitely a little bit more pigmented. The House of Siash blush definitely gives me more pigment, um, more color on my cheek. So the closest shade to Brazen Rose from Tom Ford is actually the Chantecaille Butterfly Bliss blush. On my face they look exactly the same, on my swatches they don't look the same, but once applied on my cheeks they perform and they, they look very similar, you could see that. And yeah, this is the last one. Okay guys, so bottom line, these four are my favorite blushes. You can see that they look quite similar to each other, so it's all up to you to decide which one to pick. Um, I think that these four are exceptionally good blushes. I like them. This, these are some of my favorite blushes and they match my skin tone very, very well. They look so natural on me and these are actually the blushes that I would wear every single day. They might not look very impressive on camera or they might look a little bit pale on camera, but in real life these are exactly the my blush shades so if you're pale like me i think you're going to enjoy these blushes so once again this is brazen rose this is how it looks i think it's very very beautiful and i really enjoy this kind of completely matte blushes a little bit powdery because they blend so easily i just don't have any issues blending them out and they always look very flawless and it takes me like a few seconds just to apply the blush. So that was all for today's video. I think, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for watching this video. I always appreciate your time so much. When you choose to watch my videos, I feel really honored. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It means so much to me and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, bye.